and started thinking, what's old in my life? What's new in my life? So I, this whole idea of old and new really kind of got me going. And I want to know today, does anybody have something new, a new shirt they're wearing, a new anything? Does anybody have something new on them? Hmm. New shirt? New shirt? Okay, there we go. Yeah. Okay. Great. Anybody got something old? Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, we all got something old. Yeah. Yeah. So check this out. Uh, this is an old shirt. This is my oldest shirt, okay? okay. Oldest shirt. This is, I wore this when I was 16 years old. Wow. My Leland High School wow. football shirt. Oh, right there. Oh, oldest shirt I have. I mean, this thing is like old, all right? But, as of Friday, my son Zach gave me a brand new shirt. Look at that puppy. That is a nice shirt. Very nice. So I've got the got the old and I've got the new. Which one do you think I like to wear the most? The new. I'm pretty excited about the new. Excited to try it out. It fits. Yeah, it fits. Well, this really goes this along really goes with our Bible verse. Our Bible verse. Because right out of this Bible, a little bit different word. looking than Joanna's, but it's a blue one. And uh, I want to read you a verse about old and new. Okay? This verse is in the book of 2 Corinthians, chapter 5. Verse 17, and Paul, one of Jesus' followers, said this. Therefore, if anyone, we are all the anyone, okay, is in Christ, he or she is a new creation. The old has gone, the new has come. So I'm going to let you repeat that after, okay? We'll just go a couple words at a time. Therefore. Therefore, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. Is a new creation. The old is gone. The old is gone. And the new has come. New has come. So, Mr. Johanna talked about Jesus rising from the dead. That's new life. Jesus has new life, and guess what? He gives us a choice. To embrace new life with Jesus, new life, dresses us into new life, or to wear the old life with holes in it, doesn't fit, you know, all that. I want the new life with Jesus, don't you? And you know what's really cool? Uh, This shirt, like I said, was given to me by my son, Zachary. Jesus, the son gives us new life. Okay, so my prayer for myself and for you is that we embrace the gift that Jesus gives us because of the resurrection of new life. And with new life, what does that mean? It means new types of things. It means we love one another in a new way. It means we have new joy, new hope, new encouragement, new courage. New ability to persevere through really hard times. New friends. And you know what? It's not just that we get new life. Jesus keeps giving it. He doesn't stop. He gives us new life and new things every single day. New gifts. So here's my assignment for you this week. I want you all week long, all of us here, every day, to get to the end of the day and go, what was new today? What new happened? What new good gift? did I receive from Jesus today? All right? Let's pray. Thank you, Jesus, that you rose from the dead and you have a new body and new life and you give us that gift of your new life. Thank you and we love you. Amen. 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 Thank you, Nick.